next guest has appeared in close to three dozen films, countless TV and theatrical appearances. Uh, on films include uh, From Gung Ho to Ed TV, That Thing You Do, Good Night and Good Luck. And I must say, on a personal level, I have known him for a long time. And he is genuinely one of the sweetest and most humble men you will ever meet. Ladies and gentlemen, Getty Watanabe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's French. That's French. <laughs> Don't mess with her. Have a seat. Have a seat. Hi, Frank. How are you? Kitty. I brought something from. I love actually, surprises. This is actually from my garden. I actually grew oh. this. It's a, it's a white camellia. Um, isn't that beautiful? It doesn't even look real, does it, actually? It doesn't. Well, I don't surprised. have my glasses on, so no, it does look That's like plastic. You can borrow. Oh, yeah. I, I was, <laughs> that is lovely. It does look plastic. <laughs> we'll put that right there. Uh, it, looks like it's, it looks like it's made in China. It does. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. No. How are you doing? Uh, thank you so much for coming out I am tonight. alive and well. Thank you, dear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to cut right to the chase about being on this show, okay? Because Getty called me yesterday and he said, oh, I don't know, I'm a little nervous. I haven't done a talk show since I was on Merv Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> so I do really, I really appreciate you being here. I mean, it really means a lot to me. 1986. 86. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a recluse by nature. You, you so. are a recluse. <laughs> well, uh, now, were you on, well, 86, was that when, were you still in Pacific Overtures then? No, no, that was, that 70, was 76. 76. Okay, what year is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's the first thing I want to talk about. You, Do you they know what Pacific Overtures was? It was it's a Sondheim show. It Sondheim. It was on Broadway. It was on Broadway. It was my first show. Yeah, I was. Actually, I was, that's when I was a street singer in San Francisco. They, they Did you read my notes? I was, oh, sorry. Oh, no, 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 no,
<laughs> my French wasn't that good. Actually, it's been better, but I, I haven't. I, I just learned it. So. Well, well, how was that? Did that freak you out at 19 years old? When so, so, I mean, that's a dream come true. That is just an American dream come true. I told, but, well, I told my parents when I was probably 16 that I was going to leave Utah. Uh -huh. And I said, yeah, <laughs> it was a good move. And uh, of course, San Francisco was so appealing. You mm -hmm. know? And so um, I left and, and just ended up uh, the happiest time of my life. So it was nothing was daunting to me. It was more like, OK, what's next? What's next? <laughs> you know, again, literally, this is not planned. It's like the secret. Don't laugh. <laughs> Uh-oh. You know what you want, and you just put it out there, and, and, and it comes to you. It comes to you. Uh-oh. Because that just must have been fantastic at 19 to all of a sudden have someone come up and say, you're going to be a star on Broadway, and that just launches your career. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's really, <laughs> what was my point? I'm boring myself. <laughs> so you really have had just an amazing... Uh -oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, chair dancer! Woo! I can't look. I can't look. Wow. Oh. Look at it. Okay. That was the best $10 I ever spent.